Hey guys, judging by today's title, you probably already know, I'm going to be opening up the Tarantula Cribs Large Pro Slider. Um, this is a 12 by 8 by 8 enclosure. I'm going to fill it up with a few things today. I don't have anything to put in it just yet, but by the end of the month, I should. So we're going to open this up. So I got this and I got the 6 inch cube from Tarantula Cribs. I ordered them together. They came in a big box and a lot of bubble wrap, which I love. But I also love that this has a super durable um, handle on it. This is my first time getting a look at it as well. It's nice. I got the one with the white bottom. I believe you can get a clear bottom, which is fine. The Tarantula Cribs logo is right here at the front. And I love that the top slides off, so not only does it make for easy usage, but there's magnets on this. So not only really great ventilation, but whenever I slide it back into place, it locks right up and it's not gonna come off no matter what. We are gonna get into filling this a little bit. Who knew that hoarding so much of my stuff would come in here? All right, let's get to it. I have the Terra Arania substrate from the Bio Dude. I actually got this in a three pack bulk set. Uh, I think they're like $37. There are six quarts a piece, so there's three of them. So it helps me do larger projects like this because I might end up using a lot of this for this first one that I also got from a local pet store here in Erie called Buzz and Bees. Some new powder orange isopods to start throwing in here. I think that'd be nice. And I also got two little succulents, which I think are super duper cute. And we're gonna put these in hopefully one, both, or two in. I have little plants, other isopods, and wood hides in here. I am just gonna take my substrate and give a nice healthy layer in here. I'm gonna incorporate a hide here in a minute, so for now I'll just do it a little bit. As I'm kind of halfway in between here, I'm gonna add in a little bit of the Bio Dudes Magnolia Leaf Litter. That seems good, right? I'm gonna get those a little wet with my mist bottle. I'm going to need more water. So I just mixed in a little bit of the leaf litter just to kind of make sure it's not all laying on the top. I wanna to kind of give it a little bit of work into the layer. Deciphering between which one I want to use for this. I think I want this one. Where did you go? I feel like I've been playing in the stir for like 20 minutes now. And this as well, I've got a bulk. I think I'm gonna add some moss to it. I think I like this. I'm making this everywhere. So I have a little bit of moss around these sides. Um, I'm deciding what plants I would like to put in since I have both of these. I kind of like both, but I kind of really like this one. I think we're going to put this one in. This is a Holothea. This is more of a desert plant. It doesn't need a lot of humidity, which was fine, which is great. So I'm just going to take that out. I'm going to pop this baby out of here. I think we'll put this guy in this front corner. Of water. I have this plant here that I use for some of the jumping spiders enclosures, um, and I thought about incorporating them here just so it doesn't go to waste. I got a small piece of it out. And lastly, I'm just going to take a little bit more moss of a different tone, spray this down with water. 
and then added kind of throughout, just a little bit everywhere. My hands are so dirty. But we are going to add in some powder orange isopods. Why can I not find it? It's always the cleaning up process that gets you. This is the new tarantula crib setup. I'm actually really happy with how this turned out so far. Like I said, I don't know what species I'm gonna put in here. Ideally, probably a terrestrial, but here is a closer look. I have those plants in there. A nice hide, hopefully, so it can do a thing. I try to put in enough substrate that they could burrow if they chose to. This is what it looks like up on my shelf. I have it beside a few of my other tarantula cribs enclosures, my jumping spiders, and also Ophelia, my curly hair tarantula, who is down hiding at the moment. Um, I just got them these super cute little signs that say Charlotte lives here, Lonnie lives here, some little food trays, and one for Ophelia, of course. But she's so cute. I've had this kind of covered off a day or two um, just to kind of give her a little more depth and darkness, but I'm really hoping that this also kind of shades it. I love how they all look. Thanks for watching. If you head over to my Instagram page, Megan's Menagerie, I'm gonna be setting up my six inch queue from Tarantula Cribs tonight as well.